Now this is a position that was occasioned by the state's bifurcation that has deprived Andhra Pradesh of Hyderabad city and the economic benefits associated with it. Now, how do we bring about a change that will actually help boost the state's economy? Now, what do we do about WISAC? Now, how do we boost WISAC's growth story so that ultimately we come across a situation where at least 10 years down the line, starting today, at least we compete with Hyderabad or we compete with Bangalore or we compete with Chennai. So what exactly does Vision Vizak, Vision Visaka mean? So until and unless we think in those terms, until and unless we have passion for this particular place, for this particular city, this vision can never be visualized, can never be obtained, can never be realized. A lot of people, in fact, uh, when I speak of these words, when I say, the first thing what anybody should be doing is to come and stay here as a chief minister. If I were to say this, unfortunately we have an opposition in the state. Uh, we all and also a negative media with vested interests who support the opposition. I think many of you also are aware of it. That they make a, such a hue and cry that you know, in fact that uh, we shifting over to Vizak they try to make an issue out of it saying that somebody is coming to Vizak because they want to grab the lands here. They want to do that, they want to do that and these kind of stories shamelessly are written. Shamelessly are projected. And all for what? So they don't want the chief minister to come here. They go to the court Court cases are filed. All for what? They don't want chief ministers to come here. Now why? Because if the chief minister comes here, will grow. Because there is ownership which is going to come for this area. There will be a christening of the city as executive capital. So they don't want the chief minister to come here because they have vested interests elsewhere. They bought land before the capital could be announced elsewhere. Thousands of acres in private hands, Benami lands. And they're all scared. The moment this becomes the executive capital, the land rates there would further plunge. And because of this Western, Western interest, today, Vizak has taken the beating. So going forward, I am here to assure everybody here that there would be changes. Because this is inevitable. If one were to compete with Hyderabad, Compete with Chennai, compete with Bangalore. It's very important that WISAC becomes the economic growth engine. That is, that in fact, if I were to have any vested interest, probably I would be having, I would be speaking about Kadapa. See, for me, I am, this, the state is ours, to everyone here. And one in my place should start, should think, 
in terms of what is good for the next generation how would we want our children to be positioned how will, how are the state's revenues going to be from and how exactly can we boost these revenues to support the growth of andhra pradesh if we do not think like this in terms of growth for vizac then who would think if the vision of the leader is wrong if the vision of the leader is negative then vizac today unfortunately only person standing for visakhapatnam as executive capital is only me <laughs> unfortunately this is the reality fighting against the entire opposition fighting against vested interests of the media everybody wanting that visakhapatnam is not declared as executive capital this is the reality everybody should keep this in mind understand this reality now moving further vizac would have to develop i am assuring you case is going on we have so many people trying to oppose everything but i am assuring you post election my stay would be in vizac in fact my swearing in ceremony also would be in vizac this is my commitment to vizac and now what is the vision for vizac see we, we need to have 10 year vision we would have to own this city person the city as executive capital become part of the city and have a 10 year vision you know we need to have a road map which is workable which is doable it cannot be a road map where we just dream big but yet achieve nothing because it is impractical not so we need to have a practical 